Hello everybody, this is Froni Bomb here, and welcome back to Train Simulator 2, where today we're going to be driving the Maglev, and today we're going to be doing the the Dejan Lara Express, Express 1, which is part of the Magic Maglev project route. Uh, today's work is driving the T Trans Rapid 08 from Dejan to Lara and back. Stick to your timetable and go, don't be late. Okay, so the, so the session is 35 minutes long and difficulty is normal, so we'll see how this goes. Yeah. Go with realistic mode, just so we can drive nicely. And here we go, we're gonna drive the Maglev, which is the fastest train in the world in commercial service. We'll definitely be very excited when the maglev comes more out of development. Alright, once the incoming maglev gives away, you are clear to go. Be aware that you can run faster than 250 km per hour and it will take time for you to reduce speed. Walk carefully when you need to, re when you need to reduce speed. Uh, to break from 500 km per hour to 250 km per hour, you, need to, you will need 6 km. For a full stop, more than 13 kilometers. You will be informed when you need a break. Good luck. There will be some signal showing warning. Expect the stop at the next signal. Ignore them. We will inform you when you need to s expect to stop. Okay then, that's our session information. So, here is the maglev. Oh boy, does this train look amazing. And this is the German version of the Trans Rapid train. Yeah, this is the Trans Rapid train that would run in China and Shanghai, but in this one game we get the German version, which is um, more of a complex route, which is why I'm guessing they decided to bring this route to, to Train Simulator 2. Yeah, with this route I was expecting we were going to get both the German version and the... Okay, now I can't do stuff. Oh, we're seeing some action here. Alright, we're soon going to be cleared to go. Because there's the maglev pulling into the station. For some reason, I can't get back onto the train. Alright, are we cleared to go? Not quite. I'm going to wait till we get a green light. Put into forwards. And for some reason, I cannot tap on the train. Maybe it's because we're in the station. I don't know. Can we go now? I think we can. Take off the brake. Put on the throttle. Uh oh, we're going the wrong way. Stop, 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 stop. Uh oh. Stop. Okay. Great. Now we're going to be late because I'm loading the passengers when I didn't mean to. What's the time timetable? We have to be at... Oh, depart at 11.02. Well, it's already 11.03 and we still haven't departed yet. Okay, there we go. Now we're moving the right way. Oh, my God. Why is there wheel slip? There's no such thing as wheel slip on a maglev. There we go, now we can tap on the train nicely. Let's get into the cab view. It's a it's a pretty unrealistic cab. Like the the maglev in real life does not have this cab. But I guess N three V games were too lazy to put in or too lazy to design the actual cab. So they decided to put in this cab, which is actually the cab of the T G V. Which is, of course, unrealistic. But uh, this route is still worth buying for the route, the assets, and the train. Right, speed limit is up to 250. Yeah, well, the cab is unrealistic. And the fact that the train wheel slips is unrealistic. Um, this train actually does pre look pretty well. On it. There's another train. It's, it's the regular train going to thingy. Yeah. So this train, it looks pretty cool. 
Look at that. That awesomeness. Awesome. Alright, so, so now we have the 250 kilometers in our speed limit, and apparently the game is going to tell us when we need to slow down. Okay, be my guest. Alright, approaching the speed limit. Come on, go faster. Alright, that'll do it. No, speeding. Stop speeding. This train is so uncontrollable. Oh, I didn't even take off the throttle. No wonder we started speeding up. I forgot to take off the throttle. Silly me. Alright. Stop, 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 stop speeding. Enough speeding. Stop speeding. No speeding. We don't need this. If you keep speeding, we're going to lose score. Okay, we're losing speed. Alright. That'll do. Alright, we just got an extra 50 points. Good. Thankfully, we didn't have a serious accident. Well, chances of an accident ha reduce, reduce now. Okay. Application, because we need to reduce to 100, and 100 kilometers an hour. There's a train down there. Hang on, let's take a look at this train. Train. Train awesomeness. It's a regular train awesomeness. Yep. We're seeing a regular train around a maglev train. Yep, that's that's what you call attention to detail. And we've slowed right down. You told me that it would take a bunch of. Okay, we have a. We if this is if this is if is this a 100 kilometer an hour speed limit coming up? Oh well, we do get the warning for a hundred, and there's the hundred. Okay, well you told me to slow down a little bit too early, mate. I guess this is said in Australia, because that train we saw was Australian. Yeah, there's um, there's the warning about the 100 mile an hour speed limit, so we're going to slow down to 100. I keep saying miles an hour, but it's actually kilometers an hour, so if I, if I keep saying miles an, miles an hour instead of kilometers an hour, forgive me. Yeah. Alright, come on, get up to the 100. Okay, we're getting up to the hundred. And take off the throttle. Alright, we'll just coast it through this corner. Because this corner is a 100 mile, 100 kilometer an hour speed limit. Okay, I just, I just pressed the rear button. Look at this maglev. And this route, yeah, it's not particularly well detailed. Like, you can clearly see that it's the end of the world right there. Yeah, like... Like, um, if you drove this train on the front of the team quarter, you wouldn't see that. And, uh, yeah, in case you didn't know, I'm actually building a maglev system for the front of the team quarter, which is my own custom route, so, and I'll, and I'll most likely be doing a video showing it off. Yeah. And the maglev that in my route is basically just a, um, a quick shuttle service between Trenton and, uh, the other, and the other, the other station that I don't know the name of. Yeah. It's not, it's not the most intricate ma maglev system in the world, like, it's just there and back again, that's all. No station stops, just fly down the line. So, yeah, I'm pretty excited to show that off. I'm actually going to be doing it in a soon video. Yeah, a soon video. That made perfect sense. Ooh, look at that water. Yeah. They increased the detail in the water in a recent update. Looks pretty cool now. Yep. Look at that. Attention to detail, that is. And there's a train. Hello, train. Alright, when can we speed back up? Because this 100 km an hour speed limit is boring me. Yeah, I'm getting pretty bored of this 100 km an hour speed limit. There must be... Okay, we're soon going to be going back up to 250, which is somewhat faster. Thank you. Alright, there's the timetable again. Uh, I don't know if we're a bit late, but the game's not telling me, so... I assume we're doing well. Considering that we just entered the 100... Considering that we're still in the 100... 
kilometer an hour speed limit. And take off the throttle. So yeah, let's do some explaining. Um, so this is a new series of sessions thing that I'm going to be doing on Train Simulator 2. Um, so yeah, today I'm doing a session on the Maglev project, and I want to try to do sessions on different routes and stuff just to show them off. So, so today, you know, I'm, of course I'm doing the session on the Mag uh, Maglev project, but tomorrow I'm going to be doing a session on the uh, the North Bay County narrow gauge route, which just came out actually. So I can't wait. So I'm so I'm going to be doing a session on that route, and it's probably just going to it's going to be as long as this one. All right, we're in the 250 mile an hour, 250 km an hour speed limit. All right, let's get up to speed. Come on, boys. All right, I wish they would get rid of the wheel slip thing, cause a maglev train does not wheel slip, cause of course it doesn't, it doesn't make contact with the rails. There's there's no contact going on. It's a mag, it's a maglev. There's no contact. This train has no moving parts at all. So. And we shouldn't be hearing wheel slip noises because this train has no wheels. It, it's just a magnet attached to a, a guideway. Alright, so we're getting 50 points. Okay. We're getting points as we go along, except these points are only going to count in the end if we are able to complete the scenario. And we're going to have to complete it on time, too, because there's a schedule to deal with, which is... Uh, so yeah, I'm planning on okay, this is a sharp bend. Uh I don't think the speed limit would be this much going through this bend. But yeah, so I'm I'm thinking about doing these sessions on uh on on DLC routes and then do them on routes that come with the game. Alright, we're going into a five hundred kilometer hour speed limit. Alright, now we'll really be able to pick up speed. Here we go, boys, five hundred kilometers an hour. And that's actually the top speed of this maglev train. Well, yeah, well, it's technically the top speed, but in realistic, in the real, in the in the game, it's kind of insane. But I'll do a video on that in the future. And there's a maglev train right there. That's our buddy. Hello, buddy. Alrighty. Okay, there's the 500 kilometer thingy again. Yeah. We're going a bit fast for these corners. Um. I, I wouldn't imagine that we would somehow derail, but if we do, then it's then I'm blaming it on the game. Because, of course, we should not be doing 500 kilometers an hour through the section, but we're doing it anyway, because why the heck not? I mean, the game is allowing us to go this fast, so we might as well take advantage of it. Alright, we're almost up to 500, and we're approaching the next marker. It's probably going to tell us something. Alright, what are you going to tell us? It's probably going to be a reduced speed thing, but we'll see. Oh, no, it's just another 50 points. Okay, so we can just stay up here at 500 kilometers an hour for some time until the game tells us to reduce, and now I'm going a little bit over the speed limit. Reduce speed. Okay. Alright, this is good. I'm going to put on a bit of throw just to keep the speed up. Okay. Let's, what does 14 notches work? Uh, but yeah, this route, um, because you can clearly see the end of the world, the route, blah, 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 because you can clearly see the end of the world, it's basically a route where you just want to stay in the cab for most of the journey if, if you don't want to see the end of the world, yeah. It's basically going to be the same situation that my phone 13 quarter route, except my front in my phone 13 quarter route, you can't see the end of the world as well because there are trees surrounding the line. Well, there are going to be trees surrounding the line. I mean, I already have the trees surrounding the line in some places, and it's ba it's basically mostly covered the maglev, but uh, and of course, uh, wait, what? We uh oh, we're speeding. Stop speeding. Why are you speeding? Stop it. We're losing points here. Stop speeding. Alright, now we gotta reduce the speed because there's a 250 thing coming up. Yeah. We lost a bit of points there because the train decided to break the speed limit for whatever reason. But now we gotta slow down for the... Uh, for the... What is, I think it was 250. Yeah, it was definitely 250. Okay. 
I wouldn't imagine the maglev taking such a long time to slow down. I mean, look at how fast we're slowing down in kilometers anyway. Yeah. I would know how fast... I would, I would switch it to miles an hour, but the problem is that I wouldn't know what the speed limit would be in miles an hour, so... So, we're going to be keeping it in kilometers an hour for this journey. Alright, train, slow down. Slow down! Why are you not slowing down? Oh, my God. This train's... Okay. Alright, there goes a severe amount of points. Oh, okay, it slowed it down for us. All right, thank you. The game didn't give us a massive penalty. Thanks. I appreciate that. Thanks for not giving me a massive penalty just because the train wouldn't agree. Well, we're, now we have 194 points, which is not the full score, but hey. What can you do? All right, why does this train keep speeding uncontrollably? Okay, I, th I think it's because we're going downhill. I think that's why it's gaining speed uncontrollably because it's we're going downhill I think that is the case but I could be wrong about that All right we're entering 15 minutes so we're entering the halfway point in this scenario which is good I like that yes and now we're going just going into another 250 kilometer hour speed limit come on what's with the 250 I want to go 500 again Arrgh. Let me bring the iPad over here because my breakfast is here. Okay. All right. Stop. Enough speeding. Stop speeding. Enough speeding. Come on. What's with the speeding? Come on. Yeah. We must be going downhill to be speeding. Cause, yeah. Alright, we're doing 242, 460 kilometers an hour. I'm getting a bit bored of doing 250. I want to do 500. Alright, we got another 50 points. Yay. Alright, let's build the speed up again. Come on. If you're wondering why I'm not talking so much as I did, is because I'm having my breakfast, because I just arrived. I'm actually doing this pretty early in the morning. Around 10, no, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, yeah. Yeah. So later today, I'm going to be playing NASCAR Racing 2003 season. With an Xbox One controller. Yay. Yeah. I was supposed to do that this weekend, but I forgot. Okay, so we're over the speed limit, but only a little bit. We're not losing points. Okay, I can accept this. Okay, there's a red signal on 23.6 kilometers. Um, I don't know if we're going to have to stop. Uh, the game isn't telling us anything, but we might have to stop somewhere.
Man, here's the thing. We're gonna get some more points? Probably. Yep. Another 50 points. I wish you would tell us how well we are doing. I go. I know. Like, um, well, because, um, I wish they would, like, give us our ETA so we know when we're going to be arriving, so this way we know if we're early or late. Because if we're late, we basically already failed the scenario, which would be awful. Also, um... Um, they just up the um the people of trains recently uploaded a video on the NV3 games or N3V games channel, YouTube channel, about how to make a session, which is like a session like this, you know? And I wanna try something like that for the Frony thirteen corridor. So uh what I have to do first is that I have to finish I have to basically release the the Frony thirteen corridor first and and before I can re and I can't re release it right now because of course it's not finished yet. I still need to um, I still need to finish up decorating the route. Like I need to put trees and buildings and stuff in there. All right, reduced to 100 miles an hour, 100 kilometers an hour. Yeah. But so like I need to place trees all around the route, and I also need to place towns and stuff near the stations, so the stations aren't just aren't there for just no reason. Yeah. Like, I don't want to have a station in the middle of the route doing nothing. Like, I want there to be a bit of a town there, so this way it's not completely dead. Yeah. So, I need to do that. And I also need to finish off programming the AI trains. Like, uh, like you know, because the route is like an AI route where you can ride AI trains and do stuff with them. Well, you can't really do stuff with them, but you can... You can you can ride on them because the, all the trains in the route are going to be driving themselves. I mean, there will be a few trains that were in the in the yard that you can take on and drive yourself, but most trains are going to be driving themselves. So you can just sit back at the station and watch the trains. And since they'll be coming onto portals, you can watch them for an unlimited amount of time. Like the trains will just keep coming onto their portals, and they will never stop. Yeah. If you're wondering where did I get the idea of doing the front of the quarter, well, you'll probably know this route. Well, you might not know this route, but if you play Train Simulator 2, you might know this route called Electric Electric Trains, where it's basically a route with uh, like a Northeast Corridor style route with four tracks and Northeast Corridor style catenary. And of course, since we don't have Amtrak trains in the game, well. Of course, now we have some. We, we have we have the Acela Express, but back when the Electris was being created, the Acela Express didn't didn't exist in the game. In fact, we didn't even have any trains like that I existing. Like it was actually created back in Train Simulator One, and back then the closest thing to the Acela that uh, we had there was the was the Class Forty Three HST. And, um, I actually built a route like the front of the Tin Quarter a really long time ago, and I was working on the route, but unfortunately the route got a glitch where I couldn't work on the route anymore, so the route had to be deleted. But um But the front of the Tin Quarter is definitely a lot better than the old version, which is now lost forever. I'm definitely much happier with how the front of the Tin Quarter is turning out. But uh, the route is about Around 50 miles long, I don't exactly know, but it's about 50 miles long. I'm going to have to measure the root of it at some point. But uh, it's pretty long. Well, I don't know if it's 50. It could be 40 or 35 or something. But however long it is, it's, that it's a pretty long route. So that's why scenery is taking a long time. Yeah. Alright, back up to 230, 250. Yay! If the route was short and sweet, like, if it was, if the route was short and sweet, then 
it would probably be out already, but no, I still have to decorate the route to make it realistic. I still have to program the air trains. There's, there's just still a lot of stuff to be done. So the route won't be released for... I don't know. I, I really have no release date for the Throne 13th Corridor. Because, you know, as of now, I'm still working on it. Alright, up to 250. No, no, no. We don't. So down in the name of the law. Down in the name of the law. Come on, get down in the name of the law. There we go. And I was. This train drives very weirdly. It's like you want to slow down, but then it slows down more than you ask for. And then you want to speed up, but then it speeds up more than he asked for. Yeah, it's kind of weird how this train behaves. I don't know why it behaves like this, but for whatever reason, it's. Yeah. So hopefully we're going to get there on time. We're about to get some more points added to our bonus, which is pretty cool. Right up here we're going to get some points, and looks like our station is coming up. 50 points. So there's our station in 23.5 kilometers. I think, I think we're going to get there in time. I can't guarantee it, but... I think we're gonna get there in time. In fact, we might get there a little. We might even get there a little bit early. Cause look at that, the, the mileage is going down fast. So I think we're gonna get there in time. Yeah, we're gonna be able to complete the scenario, which is fantastic. Oh yeah, it does look. Okay, next. Stop speeding, train. Stop it. Now we're losing points again. Stop speeding, train, you stupid train. Now we lost points because of you. Ah. Well, we're not going to get five out of five stars. That's a shame. I tried to get five out of five stars, but now... No, no. And we're still speeding again. Train, stop speeding so much. Jeez. Enough with the speeding nonsense. Man, train. This train just wants its day to be over. I think, yeah. I think these trans rapid maglev trains are programmed with, um, with like a uh, ATO, which is automatic train control. Yeah, but of course, train similar to the people of train similar to weren't smart enough to put that into this maglev train, which, which would have been really awesome. Because then the train just could drive itself. But nope, I have to put it into my own hands. Yay. That's fun. But yeah, I think we're going to get to station in the to in time, yeah. Because look at how fast the mileage is going down. Unless we have to slow down for a very low speed limit. This scenario has gone really well, really well. In fact, it's gone so well that I hope we don't miss mess up at the very end. And I hope we get there on time, because if we don't get there on time, then we basically fail the whole scenario. Well, that's my experience with playing Express with playing the Express Passenger scenario for the City and Country USA. I'm going to actually play that scenario on here. But it's very hard cuz you have to keep you have to keep to a very tight timetable which is not fun to keep up with. Like you have to do stuff. Oh, you can go 500. I didn't even notice. Well, I noticed just now. Yay. All right, up to the 500. Now we can get there even faster. And we'll make sure to slow down when the game tells us. Look at that maglev. Yeah. For most of the journey, we've been outside. But it's about time that we get outside to take a look at this. Use the train. All right, reduce speed, speed, reduce the... Reduce the speed. Yeah. I'm glad the game tells us to reduce the speed. Because if it didn't, this scenario would be a disaster. I think we're going to get there early. Alright, take off the brake. Alright, put on the brake a bit. Okay, brake. Come on. 
This train doesn't break particularly well. Yeah. I should have... Yeah, this train could be more responsive. I don't know if this is how the train is in real life or if that's just a issue with the game. Yeah. Oh, look, you can clearly see the end of the world. Yeah. But on the front of the quarter, there would be trees blocking the, your view to the end of the world. Yeah, because that's how realistic my route is. Yeah. It's like... It's like... Because... In the Northeast Corridor, in real life, on the side of the track, there's like a forest and stuff. But in my room, there's just one line of trees going next to the line, yeah. Uh, partly because uh, because I don't want to decrease the frame rate somehow, but mainly because I'm too lazy. Alright, next stop is the station. In fact, it's the final stop. Hang on, is it the final stop? It should be. Alright, there's the 250 speed limit. And we are coming up on the station. I think we're going to get there on time. I don't know if I'm going to have to slow down to something crazy or something. I'm going to reduce to 100. Actually, no. We're going to go back up to 150. Alright. Uh, 141 will do. Alright, so it's warning us for 100, well, for 100 mile an hour speed limit. Okay, so we'll slow down to the 100. Alrighty, slow down for the hundred. Come on, hurry up. And yes, we slow down for the hundred. Perfect. And it looks like we're gonna get to station on time, so we won't completely fail the scenario. Yay! Alright, here we are at West Station. Um, Lara. Yeah, I assume this place is set in Australia, strangely. Because they have... Because the maglev, the trans-rapid version of the maglev... Okay, we need to slow down a lot. Alright, slow down. Slow down in the name of the law. Break, break, break. Okay, braking is coming in. So I assume that the station speed limit is something that's really, really slow. Okay, not this slow. Come on, we don't want to be late for the station because of some st stupid nonsense. And wheel slip on a on a non-gripping maglev train. Okay, so now we're pulling into the station. Well, not not yet pulling into the station, but soon we're going to be pulling into the station, and then that will conclude the scenario. Yay! It's definitely been a pretty fun time driving the maglev train, but tomorrow we're going to be heading up to the countryside in the USA, driving on the North Bay County route. And it's a 60 km an hour speed limit coming into the station, so we're going to put on some extra brake so we can slow down and stop at the station, because of course we need to stop at the station. I want to make sure we stop in the right place. No, stop in the right place. Uh-oh, we stopped too early. I don't want to come to a dead stop, because then the train's going to open its doors for no reason. And brake! Stop, 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 stop! Why do you have issues stopping so much? This is unnecessary. Okay. All right, we stopped at the station. Yay! Perfect. Okay, we have stopped at the station, giving us an extra 50 points, and it looks like we did get five stars out of a perfect run. You have achieved a rating of five stars. Wow, that was a perfect run. Wow, I didn't expect it to be perfect, considering that we got that speeding thing. But apparently, we don't. We didn't need the full score to get all five stars. Yay! So this was a successful scenario. Awesome. Yeah, look at that. Full score. Awesome. And yeah, there's our views that we didn't get at the beginning. So, guys, yeah. So, as we turn down the volume so it doesn't completely get over my voice, I hope you guys have enjoyed this video. If you did, make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. Um, I'm trying to, I want to do this one every five days of the week. For now, yeah, like, today we're here on the Maglev, and tomorrow we're going to be driving on the North Bay County Route, which is the new narrow gauge route that came out very recently. Very recently, yeah. But, that is it for this video. Hope you guys have enjoyed this video. If you did, make sure to like, comment, and subscribe, and I will see you in the next video.